Hello everyone and welcome to K-Pop Queen for your daily reactions to all things K-Pop. Okay. <laughs> Well, we already know what it is. It is one of the love of my life's, okay, GOT7. They have come back again. <laughs> Look, I don't want to, like, get into, like, their work schedule because if I start talking about how hard they work and how they're constantly having comebacks and it seems like they're not resting and they were just here in July, they were here in America in uh, July, and then they came again, like, in January, I just think it's kind of crazy, their schedule. Let's not get into that. Let's not take away from what's happening right now, okay? Because they have worked too damn hard for me to fail them, okay? Once again, GOT7, they are back. With a brand new song, a brand new album, okay? This song, the comeback song, is called Never Ever. And when I first heard that, I'm not going to lie to you, the Sierra, like, <laughs> fan in me was like, if that boy don't love you. Like, I don't know if y'all know this, but Sierra came with a song called Never Ever, and it was my jam when I was, like, 14 years old. Not important, okay? Anyway, back to God 7. So they have this new song. It's called Never Ever. And I'm excited for this, honestly, because we got those tease the pictures, okay? Looks like one of those pictures that kept coming out every day on Twitter just blessing me with their beauty, okay? And we also got, like, a lot of um, images with, like, two of the members coming together, giving us little, like, duo feels. It was really nice. I loved the, the looks I was getting. I'm really excited about this song. My TL was obviously popping. Everybody's going off about this song, about the visuals, about everything. Do we need to talk? anymore no we don't okay so here we go it is got seven never ever like flight log arrival never ever okay hold up wait a minute <laughs> if you hold up stop let me put my hair back because I saw some choreography I saw Mark is such a visual it doesn't make any goddamn sense <laughs> Play this in the club because I'm already twerking. Oh my goodness. Puck Tin Young. I can't even speak. I've been rendered speechless. A thousand thoughts just popped into my head and I didn't even know where to begin. I said, do I even know English? What's the sentence structure? I can't speak. I'm shook. <laughs> listen. Listen to the production. But also listen to Choi Young Jae give us half the chorus. Visuals. Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> Give me the shoulders, Mark. Yo. Y'all love to be underwater, okay? Choyoung Jay, lead me into the second chorus. So annoying. <laughs> Mark to the rescue. Ugh. I always like cannot speak whenever I see you again because he gives me such. Li okay. Okay. <laughs> I, wow, I almost said I do. <laughs> Let me take that all the way down. <laughs> but, okay, we'll breathe in the O2 if we must. <laughs> ooh, 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 wow. I'm t the production, JYP produces, and I know he was listening to the hits and the transfer today. A dance break? But come back to life. I know you surprised. 
Welcome back, Jinyoung. Okay, stop. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. There's so many different things to talk about because we are entering a new era of GOT7. Listen, we started to get a little bit of this um, with Hard Carry, and um, I'm talking about the uh, music video dynamic. You know what I mean? Like, it's no longer, like, um, giving us a little story or something, you know? Because you know how th they first came in with Girls, Girls, Girls? You know, we were at the club, and they was letting us know that all these girls were into them, and they were giving us hot choreography, and and uh, Nayana had followed us into the club. You know what I mean? Like, we were getting a story. Hard carry, we were kind of, like, more focused on being on a intricate, like, set or something, you know, and then giving choreography, and then getting, like, solo bits from the members. And this is kind of what we got with, um, with Never Ever. This was, like, really artistic okay because once again we're um we're focused on like um this one was very like lacking color as well which is also a very interesting thing to kind of add a new aspect to kind of add the set was barely anything really i mean we had mark in front of a car we had jin young in that glass box with the plants um we had bam bam with his o2 i guess i don't know what was coming out of there breathing something um with in in that um that white room with the with the um um, oh, what do you, little head statues, you know, encased in a glass box. We had them, like, in a, in a little, you know, diamond, half diamond formation coming out or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, we really were not getting a lot of set. Um, it was more just, like, choreography bits, solo bits, and artistic, artistic shots, okay? Because if I was a photographer, I would have shot every single thing that I was getting. Because I was really getting some nice moments from these guys, Okay. Enough about the set, because I could really talk about the set of a music video and how it makes or break the song. I really could, but, um, anyway, enough about the set. But, um, okay, this song. The song itself, I'm telling you, JYP is going to the, listen to me, just listen to me. He's going to the clubs, and he's listening to the hot songs, and he says, what is the hottest track? What are the hot clubs, you know, all the people, the kids want to listen to nowadays? And he knows that it is a very well-produced song with a lot of complexity with the heavy bass and their beats but it doesn't have to be fast okay because that's what it, that's what we got with hard camera we got to, we, we know we can get the hard like uh fast sort of edm tracks from the boys okay this time jrp said no we're gonna slow it down a little bit we're still gonna give them the bass we're still gonna give them the the beats but we're gonna slow it down a little bit so i loved what i was getting in that song i was getting so many complex things in the background oh my gosh this song was produced with with just uh a lot of time a lot of time and effort was put into that i need to listen to it again so i can really hear what's going on you know i mean of course the boys sounded great that's not even a new comment <laughs> like that's expected of course i was getting vocals from everyone and i love the looks again that we were getting um the minimal sort of looks but they're all still matching nevertheless it's it's always gonna be a collection from them okay oh i almost forgot to talk about the choreography am i a dumbass okay so the choreography that we were getting right from the right off the beat right off from the beginning we were getting isolations in a group you know what i mean like we were getting um uh, sync what do you call it Synchron synchronized uh isolations from the group obviously we are always getting hard hitting choreography from them and this time we didn't actually see too much of it which i thought was an interesting choice because god seven is known for their choreography so i think we could have added some more shots of the choreography but the bits that i was getting were really nice and make me anticipate watching the live um, i'm really excited to listen to this album and all of their hard work um yeah so definitely wait for that um, album reaction. But yeah, no, this was this was nice. This is a really good song. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think about this song. Um, tell me if you guys could hear that production, the background, all of that stuff that's going in the background. Tell me what you guys think about the song, about the music video, everything. And um, I'll be back with another video. Bye, guys.